and welcome to my bedroom floor. <laughs> uh, it is officially the first day of 2021, uh, which means it is officially eight days until I am flying out of my home and native land and flying to the UK. Mm, fun times. Um, so I wanted to kind of start this uh, vlog series on my channel documenting my move and my whole like master's program um misadventures <laughs> I guess um uh, partly because I want to document my master's program but partly because I want to document my master's program during a freaking pandemic because we are at peak pandemic times here people um yeah but so this is a new vlog series I will try and be uploading once a week obviously some weeks might be a little um quieter than others especially as all my classes are pretty much going to be online except when I'm in the lab I think. For anyone who doesn't know I'm doing a master's in uh, forensic anthropology and what, what? No. I mean kind of but no. Uh, human osteology and paleopathology which means human bones and ancient diseases. Um, but yeah hence why I'm on my bedroom floor next to a giant suitcase and another suitcase. Because I am packing, or to be more ex precise, I am packing, unpacking, uh, taking clothes out, packing, unpacking, moving clothes between suitcases, packing, unpacking, taking clothes out, packing, weighing my bags, them being the perfect weight, and then realising I have not packed my shoes, my coats, my laptop, my switch, or any of the clothes I have in the washing machine downstairs, at which point I unpack and I start the whole process over again. It has been two days st straight of that, um, and I've got eight days left to figure it out. Um, but because it's the UK, my family will be able to get the ferry over, which means like my plants, my plant babies. Can you see them on my windowsill? Ignore the messy room. Probably not, the sun's shining on them. But all my plant babies will be able to come over and live with me as soon as my parents can get the ferry over. Uh, we were supposed to get the ferry over to begin with, but obviously we can't because everything is going to hell. Far worse than it was previously going to hell. I love how everyone was like, 2021 is going to be our year! And then it's the first day of 2021 and they're like, yeah, cases are higher than they've ever been before. 2021 is not going to be our year, people. But I don't know, whatever. I have to figure out this whole packing thing. I'm so bad at this. And for anyone wondering why the hell are you bringing your Switch? Um, because I bought it and I want to use it. I spent 300 euro on that thing. I'm using it, even though I can't bring my TV anymore. Maybe should have bought the Switch Lite. Oh. So this is what my suitcase looks like. Sort of a mess. I have two vacuum bags, jumpers, shoes. Finally managed to get the shoes in. There's my other small bag if the lighting would work no okay i was at 16 kg last i weighed this that didn't include my laptop and i have since decided not to bring my switch unless i can get it in my backpack if i can get it in my backpack then i'm bringing the switch but it's not going in a suitcase because i'm cramming everything so much that i'm afraid i'm gonna break i was originally gonna bring the switch in the box because i saved the box it's up there Yes, I have a stairs to nowhere in my room. Don't ask. Um, I was going to put it in the box, but that's that's going to take up way too much room. So I was going to just put it in the bag and like cram clothes around it. But um, the bags, it, it's way too crammed. I'm going to break something doing that. I'm already freaking out about bringing... I have a mug in here and I have a uh, glass... Um, what do you call it? Yoki in this jumper and I still need to get my thermal flask in but I'm less worried about that because that's not going to break, that's metal. Um, so I've got those, they're fine. I'm worried about them breaking, let alone my 300 euro switch. So if I can get my switch in my backpack, then it's coming with me because at least then it'll be with me the whole time and I can keep an eye on it. But if I can't get it in my backpack, then it ain't coming. I would just like to shout out Jack Septicai and his Subnautica series. I'm 41 episodes in. Two days of packing. Yay me. It's the only thing keeping me sane at the moment. Is him constantly screaming at monsters. 
my days are joyous. <laughs> also forgot to mention that I have to figure out a way to get food in my suitcase because um, I don't technically have to quarantine because I'm going from Ireland to England so I don't have to quarantine. Doesn't really logically make sense but I don't have to uh, but I am still probably going to at least maybe not for the full two weeks but at least for a few days we'll see how it goes. Um, so I won't be able to go shopping um, for a while and in Ireland at least all the like Tesco food delivery things are like booked up for weeks in advance. Um, I don't know how it is in the UK but I presume it's the same. So uh, I might not be able to get food delivered for a while and I can't live off takeaways. So I'm trying, my parents are out at the shops at the moment picking me up a couple of doodles and soup which is what I'm going to be living on until I can go grocery shopping. So I have to leave one for that in the suitcase as well because I'm moving during pandemic times because that seemed like a smart idea. It didn't. I signed up for my masters before the world ended but um oh well I don't know I'm so like I've just I've been packing all day and I'm so tired. Not all day but for the past few hours and just like the stress of it, you know, because you, you like, you whittle down your, this, this is going to sound so stupid, but I whittle down my closet, right, and I pack everything, and it's not all fitting, or it's all fitting, but I don't have all my shoes in, I don't have my laptop in, I don't have my lab coat in, because I have to bring my lab coat, or else I'm just going to have to buy one there, as like 20 euros, so I'm bringing my lab coat, but you know, like, all this miscellaneous stuff isn't in yet, and I can't close the suitcase with just the clothes in it. So then I whittle down my clothes some more, and I put them in, and I put in some of the miscellaneous items, but not all the miscellaneous items, because I need my laptop to watch Subnautica. Um, so, and then it still won't close, or it's too heavy, or something, and it's just like... I, I have a problem. I overpack. I know I overpack. I way overpacked for Erasmus. But I'm like, 120k suitcase down? from when I was on Erasmus. I had two 20kg suitcases with me last time and they were both overweight so it was more than 20kg and now I've only got one with me. So like already half the clothes I had with me last time are coming with me this time and I'm just whittling it down and whittling it down and I'm trying to stick to like cold weather clothes because hopefully my family will be able to come over when it's a little warmer so some of my dresses and things can come over then but I live in Ireland so I don't actually have a lot of hot weather clothes most of my clothes are cold weather clothes so it's like that's not actually a huge um chunk of my closet not coming with me and I just I don't know it's a weird thing but I have clothes panic I'm gonna be in quarantine most of the time anyway if not quarantine then like I'm not gonna be going to classes don't know why I'm worried about it but I have clothes panic that's my panic when it comes to traveling is like I'm not gonna have enough clothes I'm not gonna have the right clothes I'm gonna be too cold I'm gonna be too warm I don't know why but that's what I'm panicking about at the moment I don't know I don't know why the clothes are the things I can't let go of I let go of my fucking switch I let go of my 300 euro switch and who knows when my parents are coming over and can bring that to me I let that go Fine, I brought it upstairs, looked at my suitcase and was like, nope, that's too dangerous. Brought it back downstairs, plugged it back in. Fine, my brother can use it for the next few months. But when it comes to my clothes, I'm like, no, but I might need the 17th jumper. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's stressing me out, but it is. So I am getting really emotional here for like kind of no reason. I'm um, filling out... Um, a form for college about my uh, disability supports because I have dyslexia and part of that means I have to submit my assessment that says I have dyslexia. Um, so I have this here from uh, school because I got it done ages ago. Um, I got it done when I was doing my leaving cert so like the year before I started college. Um, and I was just reading through it out of interest and like I know what it says, like, I know I have dyslexia because I got a waiver, obviously I know I have dyslexia, I got a waiver for it during exams and then when I submitted the same form for my BA, the guy kind of like went through it with me at the disability centre and he was like, you know you have an auditory memory difficulty as well and I was like no I did not know that because no one ever like went through the form with me they just like gave it to me and they were like yeah you have a spelling waiver for the exam and I was like cool and I didn't care beyond that really I didn't really know what else the form would say 
And um, so he was like, yeah, it basically just means you've, you've difficulty remembering um, large sequences of like numbers or letters that someone like tells you. So like, you know, I, can, I find it difficult to remember like after a certain number of numbers, I can't like remember them if someone's speaking them to me. But it also means that I have difficulty remembering instructions that are like spoken or a lecture which is entirely spoken. Um, so I've known that for like four years, but I never like read through the actual thing. And it's like, I don't know, I'm reading it now and I'm getting like, I, I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but it's like, um, her working memory difficulties impact on her ability to follow complex spoken instructions, to learn new sound systems, especially foreign languages, and to produce coherent written work that reflects her true level of knowledge. And what was the other one? Within the area of working memory, listening and remembering what is said, phonological processing, I have dyslexia. <laughs> And Megan has difficulty remembering numbers and letters in sequence. This means she is highly likely to have difficulty sounding out words and learning to spell and may have marked and may have marked difficulty learning new languages. I had never connected. I always thought it was my dyslexia that meant I was bad at learning foreign languages. But no, it turns out it's my other thing. And I don't know why, but I got really emotional about that. I think it's because all of my not all of my, I, obviously I have, I have some imposter syndrome when it comes to archaeology and classics. Um, but a lot of my, like, insecurities with learning come from learning different languages. Like, but the truth is, like, when it comes to languages, I'm very, I have a lot of insecurities about learning them. Which is ridiculous, because I'm practically fluent in Irish. Because I grew up with it. But I think it's just because I had a really bad experience learning French in school. And my teacher was like not helpful. And I had a few tutors outside of school who were teaching it to me. And at one point one of my tutors, and this is no insult to her. She was right to say it to me. Because it was a big concern. But when I was going into sixth year. When I was finishing fifth year. Going into sixth year. Going into my exams. She was like there was a real concern that even at ordinary level she's not gonna pass the exam she's gonna fail even at like the basic level and that like she obviously she had to say that to my mom because she was basically saying like I need to try harder but now I'm like no I don't need to try harder it's my disability I mean obviously I need to try harder but still and there's like all this information in here that's like um oh if if she was able to hold on the development of a color-coded filing system for different subjects and the use of highlighters for important points should reduce visual clutter. It took me like three years of college to figure that out. It was right here the whole time. I really should have read this. This is my own fault. I should have read this. Um, but still, I don't know. It's just, I was reading that and I was getting a little like, I'm not an idiot. I mean, it's like, I should have tried harder with my languages. But like, I was set a bad lot when it came to learning foreign languages and I slightly feel better about that but I'm still, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sharing this, I was just reading that and I was like, why am I getting emotional about this? I'm not about to cry, but it is like, whirring things up in here, in my cold heart. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm gonna finish filling out my forms now because I'm late doing it. It is Saturday morning. And by morning, I mean afternoon, and yes, I'm still in bed. There's a dog barking outside. Hi, dog. Um, I'm about to get my Switch in my backpack, which I'm very proud of. It's wrapped up in a coat, but I'm going to have to take it out in security, which is kind of a pain, but whatever. Uh, I also booked my COVID tests, because the university do free COVID tests at two or three days apart, which is what they say you have to do. So hopefully I will be out of quarantine by the 14th or the 15th. Um, so that's good. I still have to get my food in the bag. And I need to swap out one pair of shoes for another pair of shoes. I am now down to like two pairs of shoes. <laughs> but they're my feelers and my docks so I wear them all the time so it should be fine. Um, and then I'm done. I need to weigh the suitcase as well. But at this point, I've just decided I'll pay the fine if it's overweight because I kind of need everything that's 
<laughs> in there. I can't really take anything else out anymore. But yeah. That's my update. I'm going back to sleep now. <laughs> I didn't get to bed till like 5. I went to bed at half 3. And it's still not great. But I didn't get to sleep till like 5. I don't know why. I think I'm kind of stressing. I need to clean my room as well. No. I'm just gonna burrow. Bye bye. <laughs>
what's going on. Um, but you might not be able to get into the lab for a couple of months, but don't worry, you'll get into the lab when you can get into the lab. And now I'm like, what? And then they were also like, oh, if anyone decides they want to defer until September, they can. And I'm like, should I? <laughs> because if this is not, like, okay, it was one thing when it was like blended learning in the sense that like it was going to be online for the classes and then when we had to be in the lab, we could go into the lab, but now like, we might not even be able to go into the lab, and I'm doing a frickin' science master's, so I should probably be able to get into the frickin' lab, and I just... <sighs> should I defer? I don't know. I just... <sighs> this vlog is already very long, and it's mostly just me having panic attacks. <laughs> but I just... Okay, not panic attacks. This is an overreaction, but me just, like, not knowing what to do. I'm so... <sighs> I just, should I defer? Because they see the thing is they don't know what's going on. Because in Scotland they are allowed into the labs, even though they're not allowed into the university. But like, they, so maybe they might be allowed, I don't know. Three days, people! I have three days! And also, if I do defer, I can't get the money on the flight or the deposit on my accommodation back. I have already paid some of my tuition fees, so I don't know what's going on with that. It will be a headache, and everything has already been a headache, and I just... <laughs> so I've spent the last two days playing up my options. I've been talking to my friends who are studying in the UK at the moment. I've talked to my cousin, who's a researcher at a university in the UK. I've looked at the advantages and the disadvantages of deferring. I've discussed them with my parents. I have <laughs> spent the last two days in a couple of crying fits and a couple of fits of just screaming into the air for no reason whatsoever. Um, but I have finally come to a decision and that is that I am not deferring. So I am starting in January. I am starting college in two weeks. Um, then came the second question which was um, whether I should stay here in Ireland and wait until the labs reopened and just study online from home or whether I should still move and study online from my accommodation until the labs opened. Um, I've decided I'm just gonna move now because everything's already set, the bags are already packed, the flight's already booked, the accommodation's all set, I've even got my groceries arriving two days after I arrive, um, so I won't starve to death. <laughs> um, it's just, uh, you know, if you asked me three weeks ago before I'd booked everything, uh, would you rather study online from home and then move? I maybe would have gone for that, but it, with everything booked, it's just easier for me to go now. Um, so I am moving. <laughs> is going to be the next vlog is me actually getting out of here and into the UK. Um, I know this one's been really long and if you've stuck through to the end, thank you. <laughs> it has been a rather dramatic, way more dramatic than I expected it to be. I expected it to be a really boring packing vlog, me complaining about parking the whole time. Um, but it has been an eventful week. It's been a very stress-inducing week and it's not over yet. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, subscribe. I am planning on doing a video, I think, of going through why I decided not to defer. And like, I ha there was a period of time where I had decided I was going to defer until September. Um, and then I, I was discussing things with my cousin and I changed my mind. Um, so I think I'm going to do a video on that. And the pros and cons of it and all. So subscribe if you want to see that. Make sure to turn on notifications. Like this video if you liked watching me fall apart for 30 minutes. Um, God, I I'm, I'm hope I can get it down to less than 30 minutes, but it is at 30 minutes at the moment. I apologise for that. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm tired. I'm very tired. I'm exhausted. I'm just, I'm done with everything. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys have a nice week, and I will see you next time. Bye!